Hi, I'm Christian Lang and today I would like to present our paper Cogalex 2.0 Impact of Data Quality on Lexical Semantic Relation Prediction. The task is the following. Given a pair of terms, identify the relation between these terms as either synonymous, antonymous, hyper or hyponymous, or unrelated. We use the data from the Cogalex 6 shared task, which was provided in English, German, and Chinese for training, validating, and testing. The data had some clear quality issues, however, as is often the case with semi-automatically labeled data. For example, mislabeling is quite common. Mismatched word classes like geologic and ground also make classification difficult. And the dataset is all lowercase, which is especially problematic for German, but also for other languages, for example, when acronyms are involved. Inconsistent white space is also a problem. Additionally, duplicate term pairs were also present in the dataset. Our Kogalex 2.0 dataset aims to fix these issues. We specifically tackled the worst performing German and English part of the dataset. We then tested the dataset with various neural models and data configurations. We showed that fixing the whole dataset provided a clear gain in all of the tested models. For our two main models, Based on XLM Roberta, a small but consistent boost in the unmodified Chinese language could also be observed. The original Kogalex data contains a variety of errors like falsely labeled data or unnatural patterns, as well as quality difference between languages. Manually repairing this data can lead to strong improvements. However, the test data also needs to be cleaned from the same errors. Fixing the data ensures that the models are actually evaluated on task performance and not random pattern recognition performance. Manual data correction is very labor intensive. A combined total of around 70 hours of work were required to fix the data set. For future work, we would like to add more multi-word terms, morphological variations, and a proper direction for hyponymy and hypernomy. For this, we would also like to manually label data based on actual text corpora to reflect the natural occurrence of these terms and patterns.